Now we are going to use uh, Fusion 360 in order to create a twisted was. Through this, you are going to learn a bunch of concepts. So initially, open Fusion 360. And then uh, in order to start the work, go to unsaved over here, right click and say new component. So each part that you are going to create is going to be called a component. So here I'm going to call it as a twisted was and keep the active checked over here. Click OK. Now uh, next I'm going to say control S. So the project that I'm going to work on, I'll also call this as twisted was classwork. Save. Next uh, in the document settings, check what are the units so well i would like to work with uh, dimensions of mm so i'll leave it at that and i'm going to uh, click on origin over here so right now it is in hidden view so once i click on this it becomes visible now in order to create the part that i want to create i'm going to start a new sketch so for that i'm going to select this bottom plane right click and say create sketch so the sketch is going to be created on this particular plane so initially i'm going to create a circle with the center at the origin so in order to do any activity you can press the shortcut s for search and then in here i'll say circle so the circle that i'm interested in is center diameter circle i click on that so the center is going to be at the origin and then I'm going to draw a circle. So it doesn't matter. Click anywhere. Uh, press escape to come out of it. Then click on this circle and over here change the line type to construction. So I'll click on this. So once you change the line type to construction, it changes from solid line to dashed line. Also, you can see that the dashed line is blue in color, meaning uh, it's still not yet frozen. There is an option to change things for this circle. So for example, the radius of the circle is still not yet prescribed. If I prescribe the radius, then this is going to turn to orange. So uh, turn to orange. Now I'm going to draw a uh, hexagon in this particular uh, circle. So for that, I'll just uh, select say S, S, and then I'll say line, continue. And then I'm going to draw a hexagon with the vertices on this particular circle. So just make sure that you have six sides. Don't worry too much about what's the length, what's the angle between these points and all of that. All right, so now what I'm going to do next is, okay, I'm going to remove this constraint. So here it says it's horizontal. I don't need it to be horizontal. So I'm right clicking and deleting that constraint. Next, I'm going to select all these lines over here. Okay. Then I'm going to go to constraints and in the constraints, I'm going to set them as of equal length, say equal. So once I say set all the edge lengths to be equal, then automatically I would get uh, a polygon of equal lengths. Actually over here I have drawn a pentagon instead of the hexagon that I wanted to uh, draw. So let it be. It's not really going to change anything within the drawing. So now next I'm going to dimension this uh, edge over here. So I'll say D and then I drag this out and then I'm going to take my base as 50 millimeters. So you can see that the construction line automatically scaled with the dimension that I have 
provide it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sketch. Now the new sketch is going to be at a height of 40 mm from the base. So in order to draw the new sketch, first I'll say finish sketch. So the sketch is now complete. So now I select this and say offset plane at a distance of 60 millimeters. Say OK. Then I'll say fit to view. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this plane, right click, say create sketch. So a second sketch is now going to be created. H1, I select all the edges. I say control C, then I go to sketch 2, I do a control V in order to create the same sketch. Alright, so in the sketch 2, what I am going to do is I am going to increase this to 80, the edge dimension. So if we look at this in isometric view, this is how this looks like. Next, to rotate sketch 2, I am going to hide sketch 1, select sketch 2, then select the top view, select all entities in sketch 2, then select move, this time go to rotate, select the axis as the z axis and, the, and select the angle of rotation as 30 degrees. This is how it looks now in the top view and the isometric view. Next, I'll say finish sketch. So next I'm going to create a new sketch which is going to be, so first I'm going to create an offset plane. So offset, this is going to be offset at a height of 40 millimeters again from this plane. So, okay. Now on this plane, I'm going to create a new sketch and this new sketch, I'll hide the second one. And then I'm going to select the first one. I'll copy it. And then in this, I'm going to paste it. Paste it. Then I say, I say finish sketch. Next I say D. Uh, sorry, I go to edit sketch. Then this dimension I'm going to reduce it to 25. So finish sketch. And then I'll have one final sketch being created. So I'll select this plane, say offset plane. This is going to be at 40 mm distance again. Say OK. On this plane, I create a new sketch. So I just hide sketch 2 and 3. I select the first sketch. Select all the features of this sketch. Then Control C. Go to sketch 4. Hide the sketch 1. Say Control V. And this time, I change the size over here I say ok I change the dimension over here to 40 and also I select this whole thing and I say move I want to rotate it I want to rotate it about this axis by 60 degrees, uh, 90 degrees. There is a finish sketch. Now, before I proceed, I forgot to rotate the center sketch. So I'll just go to edit sketch. I'll select the whole thing. Same move. Go to rotation. 
select the axis of rotation and then rotate this by 60 degrees say ok finish sketch ok so now I have all my sketches next I go to search I go to loft then I keep adding the sketches 1 2 3 and 4 ok so I say ok so this is the was which we have created and then in order to add thickness to this was I go to shell I select this surface set to an enter so now we have a was of this shape 